Well select. Hello everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... These are Mudley Tildrick here, Echo Servers, who had a slight body attack but decided to like on Discord on three seconds. <laughs> and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2, where, well, last time we finished with the hero side of the campaign, and we got started on Story the dark so side. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. let's continue on with that, huh? And yeah, we'll be playing as Dr. Robotnik himself. Okay. Now, believe it or not, uh, the, the startup on the game was a bit delayed. I can't, there's always something I forget, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, this, yeah, starting up the game was a little bit delayed this time because, believe it or not, but uh, the mods I have installed, they've got updates waiting. So, yeah, they are very much still working at, on the. <laughs> on the mods for this game. <laughs> okay, let's try it again without distraction, without the cursor on screen. <laughs> okay, alright, I, I forgot. Eggman doesn't have the hover yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm still used to <clears throat> playing with Tails, who has it already. Or who had it at the end of the last... Uh, yeah, of the other story off. Oh dear. Also, the sad ocean. Th that name makes sense if this is a massive area with a lot of quicksand. <laughs> Which does seem to be the case. It yeah. Group makes you also wonder how did it happen, for there is obviously ruins here. Hmm. Good question on that, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Again, showing up the fire will actively hurt us if we accidentally walk into it. <laughs> it's just ni nice if sometimes annoying little details like that, huh? Okay, yes, yeah. Yeah! Okay, <laughs> from what I was thinking, is it falling or not? I'm getting hit quite a lot with this, huh? But yeah, I guess we're finding out that all of this wasn't as thought out or planned out as by Robotnik as we originally thought, huh? Since, well, he had no, ori in yeah, he had no original intention of going up to the colony space on Lake Park. Hmm. Uh, he's going to make use of whatever he can get his uh, hands on. Yep. As he just keeps saying, yo. <laughs> It is, it is very likely just a bit of leftover Japanese, but it's still rather hilarious that they never patched in, it patched that out. <sighs> Key for the child gardens. Though, again, we have no real interest in those, so I'll just leave the binds. Okay, that just spawned in right in front of me. Okay. Let's just keep going and see what the heck Shadow is up to, huh? I actually don't mind these, but they're not too disturbing or uh, disrupting or something like that. Oh yeah, it, I, I guess I wasn't going to make that. Words. And yeah, it, it is just basically, it is just funny as well. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if Yo is... You is kind of universal. Yeah, it's more in the way he's saying it. It makes me think that it's remaining DLC. Yeah, not remaining DLC, remaining Japanese. Because it, it does also doesn't sound too much like Eggman, I think. Or at least his English voice actor. Yeah. Hmm. 
Now, it does have me a bit curious about how the Japanese voice actor for Eggman sounds, even though, well, I, <laughs> I have very much trouble with even recognizing Japanese. Like, there are some core words that have become, well, basic, <laughs> basically part of uh, <coughs> modern lingo that are well, know know yeah, well known enough, like Baka and such. Uh, but other than that, I typically have even difficulty d distinguishing if a character is male or female by their voice. Like, in some cases it's very obvious, but in some it's not. Well... You do know Sayonara is Japanese, right? Yeah, basically for goodbye. Yep, and everyone has been knowing that for so damn long. Yeah, Even basically since anime became, <laughs> basically <laughs> since uh, anime became uh, a lot more nope. well known. Longer. People been seeing Sayonara in regular cartoons and movies all the yeah, way back to thanks. the 70s. Uh, there's also that, uh, there's also that thanks for the food saying or something, but it, that I'm blanking on at the moment. Oh. Hmm. I know what you mean, I just forgot it myself. <laughs> that one yeah. is definitely a bit newer. <clears throat> yeah. Itaku Mash? It, it depends on Mash. Uh, uh, mash or something? Gmash? Hmm. Itaki. I'm forgetting the middle part. I feel like hmm. I will remember it when I hear it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Even without subtitles, if I hear it, I would probably see, oh, right, that's the word. Or phrase. And there we go, another level done. <laughs> it just remains funny. Just a small, <laughs> tiny little oversight. That was too close. Uh, okay, but we're done with the level, so let's move on. I guess they listen to the left in it because it was bored and the voice actors all similar enough. Chaos Emerald in the space colony. <clears throat> hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing that was chaos stolen Emerald. was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more details. More like the work of Shadow. Is literally everyone on this planet colorblind or something? Yeah. Also, Robotnik just didn't have a chin there for a bit. <clears throat> Mario! What? Shadow, I beg of you, please Maria. do it for me, for all the people on that planet. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. People of this planet, I promise you, revenge. <laughs> we just brought up Sayonara. <laughs> yeah. Um, hello there, Marco. What? <laughs> I'm not even going to question that, Marco. <laughs> Presuming it's going, it's a joke. So yeah, how are you doing today, huh? I, I'm gonna hope it's a joke. Yeah. Ninety-nine percent chance there is. Okay. Uh, I'll, re I'll read whatever you're saying in a bit, uh, <laughs> Marco, since well, this is a bit of a high-speed level. 
Seeing as we're literally on the highway as well. Okay, let's see. Apparently, Maria and uh, Maria doesn't have the ability to remove her to move her jaw. Yeah, she's just a ventriloquist. Uh, okay, but how are you doing today? Personally, I'm doing pretty well. Huh? Had a second Christmas dinner, basically with uh, leftovers and uh, gourmet. Yeah, let's see. Now he already answered that. And that. Okay, get presented for Gordon for Christmas. Okay, that, that's going to keep you busy for a long ass while. <laughs> I can certainly promise you that. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, missed the timing. Did, and did, he didn't. Yeah, the robot certainly didn't miss his accuracy, though. Okay. But from what I remember of seeing uh, Persona 4 Golden, because I've never played it myself, you are going to enjoy it. Mm, let's not miss that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marco, my message is a reference to the Sonic Adventure 2 abridged on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> yep. Oh. Okay, I was fully expecting to vanish into the void there, but no. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot of wind going on here. Yep. There we go. Just need to roll through. What? what? Before we get rolled flat. How did you not get rolled flat? That's the issue! <laughs> yep. oh, oh, those bullets are really freaking tiny. Uh, that was probably just murder there. Because <laughs> I don't think that was a drone. <laughs> But yeah, this game doesn't have anything for crush damage or anything. It's probably good. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Okay, I do like that those things are there every so often to keep you on your feet with the rolls. Also, uh, how the hell are people supposed to get around this highway? I, I, I know that it's still in construction, but I don't think any, the average car is going to make it through the loopy loops or this, the slope parts. Uh, or not I just saw one of those. Uh, I just saw one of those with something written on it. Yeah, God ring. God ring. Yes. I would. I would not be surprised if that was put in by one of the mods uh, as a joke on the God milk thing. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, anyway, another level finished. Let's see, Marco, it's on the construction, don't worry. Even what I'm already seeing has me worried. And yeah, we did just float there. Hmm, too easy for me. I think that's the highest rank we've gotten so far. On one of those speed levels, that is. <laughs> It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! It's not his speed. He must be using the Chaos Emerald to warp. My name is Shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. There's no time for games. Farewell. Yeah. Shadow, what is he? And then he got caught again. And I'm guessing those are more lines from the, the fan this dub, Marco. I've located Eggman's base and will proceed to enter it now. <sighs> I hate to say it, I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. <laughs> okay, that was not supposed to be in the cutscene, but because we have the mod, 
that allows us to find these out of order. <laughs> okay, there's one buried here, but we don't have anything to dig with, I think. Hmm, all right. Okay. Yeah, Rouge is a rogue element to all this, which is not allied with Shadow or Robotnik. Yep. Then again, technically, I don't think those two are any more aligned than, than necessary either. They're basically making use of each other until they well have no use for the other. Pick nails. You can dig into the ground or walls, select dig in the action window, or simply press the B button when you're in the air or on a wall. Okay. You can't dig here though, of course, because that's solid stone, I'm presuming. But now we do have what we need to grab that first key. And there's a... Okay, it's a random crate. I probably should go watch that uh, fan dub at some point or another. Uh, one down, two to go. Uh, there. <laughs> Those things again. Okay. Uh, that's a light. Hmm. Can I dig through this? Yes, I can. Okay, not through, but can dig into it. Okay. Now. Oop. Getting near one of them. It's very near. Yep. Come on! Let's see. One of these pillars, maybe? And was that move from Super Mario? No, but it's close. See, I get the feeling it's going to be higher up. So let's climb around a bit. Yeah, it's, mm. I think this was around the end of the Nintendo and Sega had a big move. They had a bit of a more friendly competition. Less hostile, but just more gentle jabs or reference to each other. Yeah. There could as well be uh, just a random <laughs> ghost. Okay, where is this thing? Yeah. Hmm. It hasn't gone... Nope. Is it? It's very close here. So just grab the monkey rouge there. Uh, monkey. There we go. Just ruin some hieroglyphics while we're at it. It's in the goddamn walls! <laughs> I got, I, I've seen clips of that show, but to me, it, I, I haven't seen a full episode of it. I, I don't even know. I forgot what the show is called. I also only seen maybe one or two clips. It's not really to me, the show, but I did find the wall one funny. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've seen at least some funny moments of it, and I think the, the show is called uh, Something and Sun. Ooh, getting closer. Oh, yeah, Blark and Sun. But it might be, we have a very strange name. <laughs> uh, it, it's, a, a, it's a puppet uh, comedy show, uh, Marco. And yeah, the title is what uh, Fukuya said earlier. Yeah. So far, the only one I remember is, of course, the wall zone. Well, because it's me, and only four is one of the few that was I find actually funny. Yeah, to be honest, though, there are just dozens of shows I still need to either continue watching or do. No, ow. Or just start with. <laughs> Just jiggle on the way on the ears, <laughs> and she did have a bit of a jiggle on her chest, though I think that was more normally animated. Okay. Oh, really now? 
Who's looking where now, eh? <gasps> it's a space transporter. The destination has been set to... Ark? Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. Wait, Eggman really has a, just a teleporter in his base? Okay. So what this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. I thought he, I thought he needed a shuttle to get up as well, but no. <laughs> Him? T tell me, what is his name? <laughs> Dr. Eggman, Dr. Robotnik. Well, his, his name is Dr. Robotnik. Eggman is just the, the alias he's been stuck with ever since the previous game. Yeah, and there's your own, sir. What the heck do you expect? <laughs> it's an evil genius. Of course, it's a teleporter. <laughs> <sighs> Don't think he uses those too many in other games, though. But could just be that uh, he doesn't have the resources to make another. Uh, why did you look there? I mean, it wasn't that I was looking there specifically. Now you know yes. how it feels. Feel. <laughs> Sometimes you actually just catch it by a few accident. Yeah, just. Or it's a good one. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it, it's a brain thing where if something moves, it's a lot easier to notice. If now, yeah, it kind of how I did like, uh, like the guy cross reference in uh, Eden Land or whatever it was called. I was looking, in inspecting her hair, so I thought, all right, I need a good uh, uh, <laughs> reference. So what the heck was that? Was that a eagle? Yes, there's a eagle, basically like that. Uh, it's called me of God. I, I did not expect them to add eagles on such a tiny model. Yeah. Uh, fuck off, Oma Chow. <laughs> and we're <Robotnik's> dead. <laughs> and, well, speaking of Lower Croft, it's very obvious that Ruse was very much designed with uh, an exaggerated femme fatale persona and body. Like, I believe to this day it's still said that uh, Laura Croft's original bust was a quote-unquote accident by moving a slider. But a lot of people don't really buy that. On the early first games, I didn't suspect that if they tried to fix the she still looked feminine and not as blocky. But it was kind of a limitation back then. True. I can get rid of all of them. So weird ass bats. Look more like a ghost thing or something. Okay, uh, There's not really anything wrong with that essay, with a bust the character ah. and such. Like it, it was it wasn't like she was in, in the in rock the poses all the time. Yeah. yeah shut up, oh my child. Okay. There is that, there is that spring in the corner, but I don't think we can eat safely, uh, safely reach that. Oh god, uh, that did uh, remember me. Why does, why does only one of these go up? I remember so many, I think I told this before. There's all, the, the developers never did lower cut dirty, because I respect. True. However, someone did. Uh -oh. I think it was Nike, the shoe company. Okay. Yeah, it's an old commercial in early the gaming days. They wanted to commercial. I think it was Nike or someone else, another shoe company. They wanted to commercialize the shoe to gamers. And they had a guy run through several games, and at one point when Lara is running away to shoot a T Rex, he actually stumbled into her and grabbed her. Boss, while she's shooting the T-Rex. 
Let's see, jet engine. This allows you to hover when you hold down the A. Yep. But yeah, if you can see why I felt like, come on, that's a little bit respect disrespectful. Yeah. And it was supposed to be an American commercial. The closest I've seen to uh, Idos uh, disrespecting Laura on that end was more with her at the end of Doom Raider 2, teasing uh, in the epilogue mission. Like, oh. uh, once you're finished with the story there, you get an extra level set in, uh, hmm, in Croft Manor, where we just a bunch of gangsters are invading the place. And at the end of that, uh, she, she says uh, she uh, goes to take a shower, but before she actually, well, fully disrobes and such, uh, she just pops, uh, picks up a shotgun and shoots the camera. Okay, that's kind of funny. She she, she knew the where PB comes. Yeah. <laughs> so she probably shot the damn camera, so I will give her that. Oh, that, that one isn't as bad as the one you shoot commercial where someone actually grouped her. Oh, 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 come on! She was fighting for her life. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of I context. Think of one other case where the uh, developers were having fun with it. Because there was a rumor that there was some sort of nude code in the game of the original Tomb Raider. Uh, which there wasn't, of course. Uh, but then in the second Tomb Raider game, I think they did put in a code which they uh, which they spread the uh, come on spread the rumor about that it was a nude code. But what happened instead is just that Laura just plain exploded. Okay, that's just a trolling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now then, can we get through that port without getting knocked off? Yeah. Okay. A very respectable, but that's more them saying. Dream on! <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to run. Screw so, all of you. you. Say the, the, so yeah, both of the things you said is not as disrespectful against Lorecroft. She's just denying what people in some purpose want. Yeah. And to my knowledge, that level of respect has remained throughout at least most of the games that I've played. Which has been pretty much every single one of them, I think. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. And I hope they didn't give Rouge the same uh, respect. Uh, Rouge is a tease, so it, things often get teased with her. But other than that, they do, oh, there's nothing explicit or malicious intended with her, I believe. From either her side or from the developers, to my limited knowledge of this. And hello, Big. Why the fuck are you trying to fish here? What are you fishing for? Space fish? Inside? What the heck? Uh. Is, it, is, it, is it supposed to be the or, or that from the murderers? I'm not sure. Actually, according to Lazarus, it was the developers who put him everywhere as a, an Easter egg. If they really want to find him in the funny Easter egg, just whenever you see him, just make him say do new jump. Yeah, that would be too. Uh, that would be too close to copyright stuff. Oh, true, and oh, Brad. Do you does have some broader, vulgar tongue at times? Yeah. Also, just how excited Eggman is whenever he wins a level like that this. Was too close. Even when he just hits an E. Reminds me of someone. <clears throat> a certain alchemist. been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind.
Not many people know that the op contained a top secret research facility where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like... How about making a deal? A deal? When you grab that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you if think? I do. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. I may not look like it, but you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels. And she has one of the Chaos Emeralds already ready as a bargaining chip. Very well. Okay then, it's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the Chaos Emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. Okay, time to cause a ruckus. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> Even just shooting the loading bots? Okay. <laughs> as long as it causes a ruckus. Look a roomy! I was glad okay. now I saved some of my special snacks I got from the uh, English, English. The mother from two of my niece and nephews. Okay, aunt. Uh, yeah, it, well, we are not related. Hmm. Uh, close enough, then. Still, it's I think. the mother. My little brother is the father. Yeah, that, that makes her the, the your aunt. No, but wait. Uh, Sister-in-law? I, I guess. Unless I would have placed if they're married. Hey, I'm sister-in-law, yeah. She's yeah. been for a few years they give me, you know, Christmas candy, like it was your big set, like the shotgun and such. And she did it again with two boxes. I swear, I will one year give her a box of chocolate something. 
with a newt with a wheel right on it I will take you down with me <laughs> okay <laughs> sure what that spring is for okay but yeah it, 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 it's kind of heavy candy, but I kind of want to eat them before New Year, for I have a tradition to do... Well, once New Year hit, I have... Two months of new snacks. Alright. But it used to be it's... one month, then I extended to two. It was not because, jump, yeah. Well, easier to decide away the fat from the Christmas dinners, then. Yep, yep, come on. Holy. <laughs> so thanks to Charm for throwing me into the freaking sea. Okay. Easy enough to continue. Then he gets the monologue again. Right. And you wanted to say something or react to something? Uh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> No, either way, we have the heavy cannon now, so we can break the heavy, break the metal boxes just like tails. Okay. Damn this cold up thing, whatever it is. It's damn tasty, but he's no longer frozen. What is ice? Harder than ice. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna need to ask you what the heck these are. Okay. Eight. Okay, they're, they're really just calling airstrikes on Eggman, for which I can't blame them, seeing as, well, how easily he has been stomping through all of the defenses before and current. And that almost got us knocked into the water again. Yep. There. I thought I destroyed you. There. There we go. Okay, now we can travel over without getting shot down. Okay. So yeah, for now we just get to <laughs> enjoy going on a freaking rampage. And let's not get hit by these really place spinning orbs here. I, I don't see what place what use those have on a freaking aircraft carrier. Mm. It, not going to happen again. There. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we should put the Sonic X uh, series on our to watch list at some point. Yes, it shows its age, and some things on it are a bit questionable, but not like to the point of being harmful or such. But it would definitely be a, it. It would probably be funny for you to see how that, it, yeah, how that uh, handles all of the games that uh, we we're playing. Well, I'll be up for it. And what was it? I think we'll this year they released a new Sonic uh, on Netflix. Uh, Sonic Prime, I believe, yeah? Not yeah, really too like much that. about it. I've seen some clips of it and they seem rather good animated. Gosh. Hmm. And from the premise from what I've seen and heard is interesting, like Sonic having to go across the multiverse. But how it oh, gets uh, done, close. we'll have to see. I did not know that part. <laughs> okay, everyone ready? Shadow, Rouge, on with the show! Oh, Sonic! I thought I'd yeah. never see you again! Uh I'm so 
so glad you made it. <laughs> Amy. I think you need to ask this, Amy. He actually puts his goggles down for once. <laughs> he just he looks doubly bald with his goggles down. <laughs> okay, now it's <laughs> now it's this boss fight from the other perspective, huh? Oh dear. But also, do you remember I told you the boots that Dreadnought for the cave used to be portable? Yeah. Yeah, the, the lower hawk looked like the Dr. Eggman's robot. <laughs> this one here. Yeah. There are basically two balls on top of each other. Shoot, was so close. Better luck next time, Fox Boy. Oh dear. I'm in and Rouge's just turn. Tell me when. I spent an unexpected delay on my end. There's no more time to waste. Set the timer for 15 minutes. Let's go, Rouge. Five minutes should be plenty. Here I go. Oh crap. And now we have to do this with a time limit. It's lonely at work. Uh, let's see, there's one somewhere around here. Uh, this is going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, closer to one again. Uh, yellow. Nope, I don't very close money. there. Uh, yeah, those, those are just dollar bills floating around, okay. Uh, where is this thing? Hmm. Why are the dollar bills floating up? Like, is that I'm supposed to be there or did someone add that to the mods? I'm presuming it's, it's supposed to be there, dead ends. Uh... Oh, hey, you deactivated all the mods, didn't you? Hurry up, Roach. Yes, shut up, Eggman. Okay. That reminds me of something. I. Okay, just <laughs> come at me like that. I still need to do that, or st I still need to find that upgrade for Knuckles in the uh, underwater mine. Oh, close, ow. No. Uh, where is it? Uh. Okay, I think, I think we're going to fail this mission at least once. <laughs> Where is this stupid thing? Not further away here. Is it, it, it? It's behind the door! Door we can't break open. Is there an upgrade here that I need to get or something? Because if that's, if that's true, then it's bullshit. That you need it to even get to some of the... Especially with the timer added on to it. Great. Wouldn't you be able to use big nails or something like that? Yeah, that's for digging pit? into walls and such. I don't think that's going to work with solid steel. Taking a nap. I was thinking of something like uh, pit blocking. Yeah, I don't think Rouge is the time for that. Oh, let's see, I'm going to have to run around until this thing starts getting a response from something. Closing in on one. That's one. Okay, less than a minute even, so that's how good that wasn't good. Hello, uh. all alien. Ah, I got, I got, I got a good note on that one. <laughs> okay, now where's the other two? Angel gun waist arms. Hmm. Did I accidentally... 
Dit is like that that might become an accidental joke. Or oh, misunderstanding with that title of writing in the box. Okay, is there any near here? No. Okay, that means the others must be somewhere closer towards the middle of the map or something. Up. Clean my glass. Oh, okay. So that's how you do I that. I was right. I was right, so good. Yeah, we... You were so good picking the lock. <laughs> oh, wait, what? No. It saves me having found one? Okay. Yes. Uh, right, we, we yes. still have... Yes. And, okay, so dying is a decent idea here. Yeah, yeah, shut up. More, uh, he's more of a sign of mercy, but I know that, know that uh, okay, you fail, need to fight each of them, all of them, every time, during time limits. You probably... Insane. Okay. This one? Probably. Uh... Okay, so Omachow does have useful bits every now and then. That must be this one. No. Uh, is it being really picky for some reason now? Okay, the hell. If the emerald is in here... Okay. Uh, I think Omachow did say something about a switch somewhere, but uh, yeah, he, they have useful things to say sometimes. You can see it from the bottom, but can't get it from the bottom. But it's all the few times he does have. Oh, that's a robot, so more it maybe. You know, it, usually, when Omachow has something useful to say, it would have been better told as just in general for something to be in, informed about. Oh, hello there. Yeah, what the hell do you want it to work? I think that has happened a few times. You can see you did it after you already found it. Yeah. Uh... Okay, where is this one? Wrong way. Oh, wait, I remember. It was over here, but... These are still closed, and we can't break these open. So... There must be another switch hidden around here somewhere. Is it the guy on that door that is flying out? Hmm. Is it good to see Rue to just throw the dollar signs at her this way? Like... She's a treasure hunter, you dumb idiots! Okay, if, if there's a switch somewhere around here to open those up, I'm not seeing anything where it could be. Anything you can say? That's what I've been trying to do, and it's not working. Is that a bug or something? I'm not, not sure. I, I, hmm. It's a place you often go by. Shut up. Hmm. At, at least I can maybe find the first one. Then I need to only worry about finding one. Problem now is going to find that stupid thing in 40 seconds. Getting closer. Wait, is it in the center here or something? Wait, is it, was that supposed to open up the one? That, <clears throat> 
Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway, because we don't have enough time to get up there. Hmm. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, that would reset. Okay. What? Two containers facing each other. It might be a punishment for not finding it, uh, uh, the second one, or one of them at all. That's kind of harsh. The, they went from merciful to almost more harsh now, for that means you need to find them on each attempt. And apparently the there's a whole area speed. over here where they can be as well. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, there's one of them. Yep. Give me some of those. Yeah, yeah, shut up, a robot neck. Okay. Uh, let's try this one again. Green. We have the hint that it's somewhere with, with two containers facing each other. Wait, is it? Is it up on that platform there? No, it's not active enough for that. Further away. Lower. Not here. But wait. No. Mm. Yeah, putting a time limit on something like this is just a stupid idea. Mm. One thing, sure, fine, but for three items? Gotta random each time? Yeah, no. It, it, this would be fine if it, you had removed the randomness element. I mean, you want the randomness element to remain? Remove the timer. There we go. Last one. Okay. Ew. Is it lower? It's no. no. Oh, it, it turned red. I can't. It's it, it's oh. in that it's in that one. Okay. Let's swap to this wall. Okay. Uh, okay. It's the one with the this. The, it's the ones with the uh, image in the center that we can pick. <sighs> Okay, a single ring. How is that? Perfect. And like me. <laughs> Still an A. Okay. Anyway, we're past that the nuisance. Oh, dear gods. I can't believe I've come this far just to fail. This is Flying Dog Headquarters. Intruder found entering security hole. Preparing to attack. And Flying now we dog. don't get to face off against this thing again. Flying dog? Yep. What a horrible name. Like, I get the understanding the things like Thunderwolf, Skywolf. But... Here we go. And since Ruse can fly, we need to get up higher to actually reach it and damage it. Wait, what was it, this name again? Flying Dog, was it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Flying Dog, you sound so... Dumb. A bit dumb, but also rather... Lackluster? Like, really? <laughs> You took the most boring and tame one as possible, like flying dog. Like, I get 
something like a sky wolf or stone wolf or fun wolf or something like that or stone or hurricane wolf but no you're flying dog yeah, nobody uh, nobody ever accused gun of being creative like they're they're, they're not gonna you know, the, the shortcut for their name is literally gun uh. There we go. Two more hits should do it. Not sure if we can hit it early. Big beam. It's fi it's a firing its laser. Oh, damn it. Hmm. What the? Okay, I, I just noticed B pop up at certain speeds. Apparently, Rouge has a sort of flying kick that she can pull off if she is going fast enough or something. I'm pretty sure she's at top speed at the moment, so not sure about that. I guess that's another way that you could attack it whilst it's open here. <laughs> We're turning on that thing. Okay, it's when I'm going at speeds and doing this, do, pulling a circle. Can I actually attack it while doing that? I didn't know that was actually a move. Hmm. Probably not a, not a good idea to try that while it's shooting like that. See? Chains a dream sound. <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not still against. As long as I remember to just make it uh, see it sound clean. Oh, there's extra rings up here. <clears throat> okay, I think I'll have to attack it at some point during all of this because it's not pr it's not giving an opening anymore. Air bombardment! There we go. Not bad, huh? Oh god. Strong, right. well, I realized I could have killed it a lot quicker, but oh well. I just realized saying air bombardment to Rouge attack for both is probably a problem. bad joke. I can't believe that I'm trapped inside this locked safe with a chaos emerald. <laughs> I guess I won't be able to call myself a treasure hunter anymore. Really, Eggman bomb Eggman bomb. boom boom. Not a shoot, troublemaker. White jungle. Yep. <laughs> okay, <laughs> immediately end up outside of the half pipe. Okay, and again we're raising the clock. This also big trees. Yep. There we go. Roll over the underneath those. Oh, oh, oh you glitched through them. <laughs> Okay, that was not, even though we have had a few glitches here and there, <laughs> certainly not one of them. Okay, yep, let's get off this thing with the... Okay, for a moment I thought that they put that there to be mean. <laughs> Maybe that one they did. <laughs> okay. Are you stop stop by a mushroom? Yep. Okay. 
Pretty sure I was meant to hit the <laughs> the spring there. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. The one and only ultimate life form. <laughs> Looks like Batgirl has failed her end of the deal. I really could care less about her. It's the Chaos Emeralds I have to say. I have to hurry because there's not much time left before the bomb goes off. Okay, let's try and stay in the half pipe this time. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> it looks like we failed on that aspect immediately. Okay. There. Already getting tired, but only halfway through, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I've been resting all day. Well, I've been playing a little ring with as well. And I actually started a new playthrough again. And I did not need to cheat in food once this time. <laughs> okay. See, I, I probably should, you know, I probably should try to get into ring um, world more myself. Like, we did that showcase, but beyond that, I don't think I've played it very much, if at all. Yeah, no. It's more like something... Like, it, it, it does have end goals. It's not all about the end goal, it's... It's, it's a story simulator, basically, if I remember right. Yeah, like with War Fortress. Yeah. Losing is fun, as they say with that, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, depending so, in some situation, then there, there are sometimes just with the random bullshit that can happen in Rainbow. They just go, seriously? Now? Now you decide to go on a food binge or something that could uh, end up into disaster? Like earlier yesterday, if he was. I was say the caravan, but I had to look, reload and remove one character because they were about to, they decided to have a melta uh, melta from out of nowhere as if we were to leave. But you kind of like bogged out them from leaving uh, almost until she just uh, flipped out. So I removed her, then they were able to leave out of the caravan uh, without her, just left her home. But it was just kind of weird. Okay, uh, for a moment I thought... <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. Now we get the air shoes. <laughs> as if those things didn't look silly enough as is. Air oh shoes God. to move at light speed along paths of rings. <laughs> Now it, now it looks like he has massive clown shoes at the on the back there. Oh god, it looks so silly. Uh, let's see here. I think I was have a long time ago a guy in Rainbow that just... I don't know what was happening. Like, they were, su they were supposed to be having their super happy yeah, hope, but some, for some reason... So they just was a, they only, only able to give them food once. They flipped out and stopped to turn things around, and he did not have Pyro mainly until after that. Here we go. Yeah, that, that's that's sadly a thing with some of, with those massive simulation games. There's just a lot that can glitch out as well. Yeah. Hmm. Do Too easy for me. I did have uh, some Comic-Con moments as well. Like, I noticed that I had some beer plants here, but I realized, wait... No one's been buying them yet, why? Hey, that's... That blue hedgehog again, of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh. You're not even good enough I'll to make be you my eat those words. Sonic just doing a bit of ventriloquism there. 
I will see it, God. Oh, yeah. Bring it on. I suddenly realized that Voldem and was kept getting sick. And it was the okay boy, is that <laughs> Raven? Is... Look at the timer, look at the timer. Uh, uh, there we go, now it's literally glitched. Uh, lagged. Uh, oh. Oh, so that was quick. What are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on it. Blows up? The, the timer said 12 seconds and 34 milliseconds. Or 30 oh, for love of hell. <laughs> not millisecond, but still. Chaos control! It's going to be a problem for some nearby coastline. Shadow, what do you think it's like on Earth? The professor said his life's work was dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy through the power of science. Shadow. Maria, I just don't know anything anymore. I often wonder why I was created, what my purpose is for being here. Maybe if I go down there, I, I will find the answers. Maybe. Maria. Why so melancholy? That was so unexpected. So unlike you, Shadow, to come and rescue me. But your ability to it's... use the chaos control certainly comes in handy. You know, I didn't come to save you. I came back for the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, yeah, but then again, that's not the whole story, is it? Everything is ready to go. Are you sure? We only have six of the seven Chaos Emeralds, you know. That's more than enough for the demonstration. So let's get the show on the road. Pretty sure they should only have five. Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> really had text going, I am genius, I am great, I am brilliant going on in the background. <laughs> Egomaniac much. At this rate, the cannon will take too much time to charge up. If you want to unleash its full potential, you'll need all seven Chaos Emeralds. Where in the world have you been? Something happened? Our threats fell on deaf ears. Look at you, throwing a tantrum like a little kid. How totally embarrassing. Don't forget your end of the bargain, that girl. What about that last Chaos Emerald? We had a deal, right? Where is my emerald? Here you go. I found this. Why didn't you show me this before? This station square saved from a life-threatening missile attack. The city has awarded its famed prize to the boy who saved station square. Miles Tails Brower was 
Shadow is the ultimate life form or not. I will continue my research on Project Shadow and have a follow-up report very shortly. Just a reminder, don't forget about my jewel. What? Also reference to the previous game where <laughs> <laughs> Tails... Oh, come on. Oh, come on, indeed. And also, I think the key... I wonder where the Tails got the, his emerald as a reward, but it was under Knuckles' care. Yeah, I, I'm guessing. The, I'm guessing they gave it to him later because those things tend to scatter after they've been used. So I'm guessing someone found it, gave it to City Hall, and well, for saving the city, they gave it to Tails. Uh, the small ones I can get, just the big one. Yeah, the big one is uh, the, the big one. Knuckles always carries around now. The Master Emerald. Yeah, for and the picture look like he was given the big one, not the small one. Yeah, it must have been a uh, screw up somewhere. Yeah. My name is Rouge the Bat, better known as the Treasure Hunter Rouge. And that is how you spell her name, not Rogue. Using the power of the Chaos Emeralds we stole from the military research facility. Charging the Eclipse Cannon is taking too long, so we've got to get the last Chaos Emerald and fast. Where is that box for? I'm pretty sure the count is still Another off. They start... Oh, come on. Okay, one of the mods is causing this. Yeah. Let's see. Any of these that might be the cause of this, or do I just have to pull them all off? Maybe the, that one? Hmm. I don't want to have to turn these off one by one, so let's try one specifically that I'm suspecting, and otherwise I'll turn them all off again. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it might give time to finish my story. The reason uh, I know I discovered why beer was missing says I told no one to drink them. I was planning to sell them. What about them pet ravens snuck in and drank the beer <laughs> and got himself alcohol poisoning for it? Yeah, okay, not that one either. Yeah, I'll just turn them all off. Uh. Uh, Crazy Dream World and buggy mods here. Yeah, maybe one of those updates would have fixed that, but I don't. I'm not sure how long that might take. So best not to risk it. Yeah. So just turning all of these off. Just going. I, I very much doubt this mod might be the cause. It's just a. A fix for one of Rouge's textures, but it's the only Rouge specific one, I think. Still just turning all of these off. And I should probably try and do something about removing the ones that I've already proven to be bad or wrong. Uh, oh, I can do that. Uh, we just do this. DC Shadows, Better Miles, the, those ones. Okay, uninstall. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Yep. And it reinstalled all the other ones again, it seems. Or reactivated them. Did that actually... What? No, they did not remove... Okay, I, I thought what I was doing would remove them from the list entirely, but no. Ugh. Okay, mod managers like this are typically good, but they can just be obnoxious at times. Especially when there's no option to just re yeah, uninstall all of them. There. Uh, okay, save and play. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying, I'm pretty sure the count is still off. Like, 
uh, Shadow and Eggman started with one uh, emerald. Then Rouge came in with one more. And they stole three more. So they should have five, not six. And yeah. Story okay. Yeah, we heard that already. I'm picking up Okay, bit of a flamboyant car you have, Rouge. <laughs> okay. At least for really a big fucking gap in the roads. Uh, again, the construction workers in this uh, universe must be absolutely insane. <laughs> There's actual people driving around here as well. Also, it must I, be really desperate to get back uh, to work. I, I draw things at the back is supposed to be shaped like your ears. Yeah, like your ears, more like. I said ears. Yeah. Like, the humming of this like engine is, making a, is being a bit loud on my end. So yeah, this this car is supposed to be somewhat shaped like her face, I'm taking it. Very vaguely. Yeah. It looks more like a wolf, almost. Hmm. I think I've heard things about wolf bats, but I'm not sure if those are actually a thing or not. And they are now fox bats. Or flying fox bats. Okay, plenty of time. Wait a minute. Be quiet. Just leave it to me. Oh. Let's go. Okay, I forgot that you get a boost in this as well, not that it's helping much with much him bouncing around. Okay. This is plain open gaps in the size of here as well. Just yeah, OSHA totally does not exist in this universe with stuff like this. Wait, oh yeah, they're all close here, so no! What is it? Is this supposed to be a dry strip? But no! It's not a it race is track. supposed to be a highway. Also, that screeching sound is really annoying. There goes that family! Also, boy, really? Uh, I, I, I did the joke just because we look like that. Oxy boy may have aged so well. Are, are we actually making laps on this thing, or because there's a there's a lap count during this end? But I, no, this this does not match what we saw before. So it is just. It's it's counting the time between uh, the checkpoints as lap times. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we're at the end of this. Uh, up there's tails. Was I put a real in the background? <laughs> it's really oddly colored tails here. He looks more orange and yellow. And he's supposed to be orange? Nope. He's supposed to be yellow. Let's see. Kart racing now available. Oh well. No interest. We're here for the story. Shadow. Hey, Mr. Tomato. Blue plane. Spotted at 11 o'clock. Copy that. I'm in pursuit. Okay. If the whole thing about this was getting Shadow to <laughs> after Tails, why, <laughs> why did you even need to get close, Rouge? Oh uh, well. Maybe she shot the tracking device on uh, the car or something? Maybe. 
Ooh, let's not miss that. clearly a spy. Uh, Okay, bye. Yo, oh, come on. For some reason, Shadow seems to be going on reverse on these things half the time. Okay. There. I press the jump button game. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, Sonic games and Rails have uh, it, an iffy relationship. I'm surprised they tried this trick so early on with a dream toss. Okay, let's not go on this time. Yep. Come so on! I guess that, that does prove dream toss was more powerful than PlayStation 1. For these things they were not able to do, as far as I know, until PlayStation 2. Mm -hmm. This was a bit more powerful than the Dreamcast, and had... ...that you could play DVDs and such on it as well. There we this go. This was a big thing! Since, again, it, you basically buy a gaming console and a DVD player. <laughs> That's why I was already dead there from getting hit. Okay, it, this feels like it needed a bit more testing here. With a, a rail that consistently sen uh, sends you to your death. Ugh. We're going to game over just on that stupid rail, aren't we? Yeah. All right, now remember, I woke one hour too early today from a bloody damn weird dream. Okay, now let's get rid of you. I said get rid of you. Okay, keep bouncing on that thing. Oh no, I just remember what kind of weird dream I dreamt. Okay. Uh. It was you and Rom. Yep. Okay, that one was my own fault. Mostly. Definitely. Uh, should I even ask what that dream was Shut about? Also, it looks like Shadow is just freaking miles away from where Rouge is. I think he is. But yeah, basically you, you could roam in a bottle and start seeing uh, Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum? <laughs> I did say it was a weird yeah. dream. Yeah. Just don't do that to Ron, please. <laughs> I'm not sure I, I could even fit him in a bottle. <clears throat> well, I'm pretty sure you on this school you could put his avatar inside a bottle. <laughs> That's what I think you could I could see you do. How is he? No comment on that. Yeah, I'm not gonna dare to assume you're a good or bad singer at the moment. There. Okay. There's a box for it. Really? Yep. Uh, hello. Uh, still fell through the, the death plane. Okay. Okay, at least we got to a new checkpoint. Can I? Yep. Okay, shortcuts. Let's try that again. I cannot look away from it. I think this thing is making me drive sick somehow. Okay. There. Okay. Let's actually lock on to this thing. Yes, thank you. Yep. 
Okay. That was because we didn't have any rings. I guess there's a stupid robot taking pot shots. There. I want that checkpoint. Okay, got it. <laughs> Luckily enough. Okay. As long as we just keep going forwards. So... Okay, I'm not even going to guess how you're supposed to get those. Especially with how dangerous rails already are. Oh, they even in the air! There. Uh, okay, some sort of tank bots. Okay. And Lazarus did say that some of the later levels in this game can get particularly go. annoying and hard. And I get the feeling we're already about halfway through this one. Let's see the. The light side was about 15 emissions. Maybe I didn't try hard enough. And uh, yeah, we're nearing the end of this side already, it seems. Unless. Uh, yep, <laughs> yeah, it goes forward's tail again. Doctor, they're heading directly toward us. What should we do? Uh, it's falling away, you dumbass. Most generic stone grinding sound that was ever. Pretty rough. We did it. Let's go, Amy. Yeah. You little thieves. Did you really think you could get out here on the thing? Come and get some, Eggman. Just leave it to me. This time, as well as the Chaos Emerald. Call on you to destroy these pests! Come out, my servant! <laughs> yeah, Golem again. <laughs> I said such people so gone. <laughs> easy. <laughs> Maybe you should have put a lid on that very obvious button. Restrain? So the golem isn't even his work. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be a bit interesting then, play, fighting this thing with a different kind of uh, yeah, a different kind of character, since he doesn't have the obvious weak spot anymore. Uh, where exactly do we need out? Do we need to aim? Mm. Oh wait, does he have lower weak spot? No, oh, there's a lot more down here. Uh, yeah. I said uh, he's still sing like a brick. This boss is knee deep, doesn't mean you should be knee deep. His weak point is not taking aim on the knees. Also, oh, what? You're supposed to shoot the cracks. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. So basically, we have to uh, Danny DeVito it and just start blasting. Now. Oh, what does it appear? Now. Okay. Yeah, we we are hardly as uh, agile or capable of jumping as Sonic here. Yeah. So the moment we hit the quicksand, we're dead. I wonder if he actually built it or not for the strength. Even if it was his robot, he could still have made restraint. Yeah, he made the restraining mechanism on that, I'm pretty sure, but I don't think he actually made the golem. More like he found it. Yeah, question is, who made it for it? It has a uh, high-tech part inside itself. Maybe a defense mechanism made by his grandfather, your old Robotnik. Actually, shouldn't we be safe from... Nope, apparently not. I was about to say, safe from his attacks because we're a bit further back, but no, very much not. Nope, too early. Move away from that. And that's that. I thought that actually would take longer. Green light for launch. Primary engine ignition on. Beginning liftoff countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shuttle liftoff. The count is actually a bit off. But oh well. But why does he have that if he can teleport? Well, the materials teleport probably. What? Materials. Yeah, I'm presuming the teleporter can move massive amounts of materials. How's it going? Yeah, what's his yes, that? Mm. What? What do you mean they escaped? That's okay. I will go after them myself. Can you tell me the password for the space colony control? <laughs> Tricking that old doctor is just too easy. All right. It's time to get to work. The password is Maria. Maria? Hmm? I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh well. This is it. Research Project Shadow. The ultimate life form. Let's see now. What in the world is this? This can't be right. Just what is Shadow, anyway? Hmm. I guess I'll just have to take the last pieces of the Master Emerald. Okay, I... I am going to have to... There we go. Um, I'm going to have to call a quick BRB. <laughs> It's been a, oh. quite a while since that's last happened, but yeah, nature is uh, starting to screen through a through a megaphone. So, yeah, back as soon as possible. Uh, forget which of these buttons is the correct one because they're both the same color. Uh, uh, there, okay, they're not functioning. Oh, B or B all the same. I'll pause the timer there. Okay. Okay, back. Headset back on. Okay. Welcome back. Brushing my teeth. <laughs> okay, give me a moment to make a note for of the time. Uh, let's see, 147. Okay. Uh, there. There. Okay. One, four, seven. Okay, uh, that hasn't had to happen in a few months. <clears throat> okay.
Starting the timer again. And... Oh, wait, gotta select the game. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, what? Uh, okay, the detectors have been fucked with. Um, short meteorites. And that's all we're getting. Uh, okay. Let's see, it's not the area that is... That's going along way too fast again. So, wait, do we need to find these without the detector? Uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem then, I think. Uh, hmm. Short meteorites. There's a bunch of those, so... Not sure how much that is going to really help with things. Detector readings are reversed. Be very careful. No one might teeth the cross. I should have spotted earlier when you got away. You're welcome back all the same. Okay. Yeah, I, I was here in return. Really I really didn't hear me that you just brushed my teeth and I big head toothpaste in my mouth, so yeah, I did hear that. Uh, according to Oma Chow, the readings of the detector are reversed. So, I th I think we have to find the, the I think we have to find the shards just by the hints, which is going to be a bit of a problem then. Yeah, at least it's not time. Yeah, still a big nuisance though. Uh, especially because we have. Um... Double heroes down there. Is yeah. It no hmm. And hello, my Super Mario Galaxy <laughs> physics. Hmm. So. If, if the detector is, is if the detector is reversed, does it mean it'll still give a signal at something, or do are we completely reliant on the yeah on the hints which don't repeat? Because that would mean that this is going to be an absolute slog to just find all of these things. Yeah, hmm. it's not worse than. Uh... Big hats, but... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I might need to look up a guide of possible places for these things to be, because otherwise this is going to be just a complete and utter waste of time. Hmm. Something was reversed? Yeah, the detector is reversed, so maybe it means deactivated or something. I'm just going to I'm just going to look up a guide of where the heck these shards might be. Yeah, I was supposed to be maybe they mean reverse gravity or something? No, then it would have said made mention of gravity, not the detector. Uh Let's see, detector reversed. And uh, not space hints. It's, it's, uh, oh, it's, uh, where the hints are written in reverse. Okay. Okay, so the hints are you know, written in reverse, and well, with how quickly they pass by as well, it's going to make it even worse. Uh, let's see. Uh, might actually be better just to try and restart. The oh, okay. So you can you can see that the rep 
you can see the <clears throat> the hints you've gotten in here. That would have been really useful to know Wait. beforehand. Is it, is it red something? Yeah, red? red nail? Red nail? Okay. Does it mean that the... The proximity detector is still supposed to work or something? What, what code is a red nail? Um, apparently there are just a fuck ton of possible hints for this going by this list. Uh, yeah. 40 and still counting. Here, red nail number 41. Capsule planet. Okay. Oh, hello. Iron boots. Increase kick power. Yeah, kick attack power. Break iron containers. Okay. Maybe we need to break the container. Hmm. Let's see. Either way, we need to find our way over to the other of the meteorites, even though... I... <clears throat> it's... Yeah, come on. We need to get onto that thing, though I would not call that sure. Yep. And of course, gravity messes us up so we can't actually reach it. Okay, how do we get there then? Is there, a specific, there is that can that rocket at the top, but I have no idea how to possibly get activate that. And apparently, we can't go to the lower. But we could go to the lower hemisphere before. Why not now? There we go. Okay, if the game is just being real wonky with this gravity stuff. I can see why nobody, why it wasn't done as much again until Super Mario Galaxy figured out how to actually get it to function. Wait, there's something here? Yes, even... Yeah, Rogue basically seems to go wherever she wants on this side. There we go. Now we've got normal controls. Oh, okay, I'm guessing that will have activated the rockets. Yep, okay. With that, we can go to the other side. I almost thought about hitting the crate. Just okay. for different reason. Okay. So it, it's not the detector that's reversed. It's the hints that are reversed. Okay, big difference, game. There's one. Okay. Now, where are the other two then? Seeing as we can only count near gather them in order again. Let's if a con a contain a container within a container. container. Okay. Hmm. Oop. Hmm. Guess we'll have to just go around again until something starts to pick up on the con on the radar again. Though I could just look up. A hint of where it may be, and what is causing that noise each time? Is it that train or tram, whatever? Hmm. Maybe? Okay, I'm not flying all the way around this thing, because the controls just go mad. Hints. Any other hint screens around here? Out oh, here. Let's see the low place. 
Okay, low based on the map or based on something specific? It's not in the two connected storage containers. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's all the hints we're getting because they've gone transparent. Let's see. Chow key. Container within a container. I'm not seeing anything out on those platforms. Is and this again, the might container? Not hmm? You think you're walking on it? Yeah, I think it would have gone off, started beeping already if we were near enough with this. Just shut up, you. Take your readings have been reversed. Li They've been a little bit too literal. I'm, I'm guessing these things are supposed to be called detectors, but not all of them are reversed. Uh, wait, what's that? Yeah, some rock that we can't pick up. But that's not a rock. Okay. Wait, is this supposed to be the key to something? It, it hmm. might be. It... Uh, until I find something that specifically looks like it needs that, I don't. I'm not going to carry it around everywhere. Hmm. Let's see. Where is the rocket going up? There. Mm. Wait. No, that's where we got the the boots just now. Hmm. Wait a minute. Maybe the tram. Let's see. If we get close to that thing, it, yeah, the, the controls really just go weird here. Like Rouge is not go going, yeah, there's not going where I try to point her half the time with this. There. Okay, it's not setting off the. Hmm. Where is it then? Okay, this, this isn't second. This isn't difficulty or challenging. This is just plain stupid. Let's see. Uh, finding page. Uh, container. Within the container, uh, take a missile from the platform above the large moon. Along the way up, you'll notice two large containers glide into the left one. Uh, large moon? Is that supposed to be this or? Hmm. Oh, oh, wait, oh, there's there's a bigger moon. It seems. Okay. Again, th these places are way too big for this as well, with way too many random points that they, the stupid emeralds could be. Like, yeah, it, again, at least there's no bloody damn timer on this one. Yeah, and I think it's, yeah, it's probably one of these here. Nope. 
Okay. Hmm. Got it. It's a, it's a crate in another in a shipping container that we're looking for. Oh, there we go. There. Okay, now the last of these. Okay. Uh. Sitting store? No. Sitnik. Stink. Sticking star? Uh. Okay. What? Oh, oh, I might it be the smaller moon? Let's see. Far away from an inverted tower. Hmm. Yeah, I I'm going to look this one up as well. Uh, yeah, we don't have all day. This is it? Uh, no, not that one. Not that one. Not oh, that, that one way. either. They are sticking star. Take the missile from the large moon and glide into the side of the platform you line down. Climb over to the star sign sticking out of the sides. Okay. What? So, here. And then. Along the side here somewhere. Yeah, they made they made the this. Le we got really freaking lucky with knuckles as, uh, on this. You don't dig into a star symbol. What? Far away from an inverted tower. Don't dig into a star symbol on a wall of a platform with six circles. You don't what? Hmm. It's six circles. Hmm. It, it's going to be with one of those star things, I'm guessing. Hmm. One of these? Hmm. And wait, is it? Let me get a bit of distance. Is no, that supposed to be the inverted tower? Because all I can see is a bit of... Hey, let's see, a Lashris. Ah, you arrived at the other worst treasure hunting stage. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, ac I'm actually just using an FAQ for hints as to where the hell these are. <laughs> welcome, uh, anyways, welcome, Lashris. You doing well today? Let's see, still not home, but thought I'd say hi for a second. <laughs> uh... Yeah, the, the hint that Omochao gives also doesn't help a bunch. In it's actually the readings or the hints that are reversed, not the detector, like I thought it was. And yeah, the hints we have: a sticking star away from an inverted tower, and don't dig into a star symbol on a wall with a of a platform. I'm not sure why they would give a hint to, to not dig somewhere. Uh, uh, yeah, the hints are either written backwards or li oh, lying. That would also make sense. So it's yep. close to an inverted tower, and we do want to dig where there are six circles. That makes sense now. Yeah. So I was right about the, the uh, on the last. Uh, could they be lying? Mm -hmm. Because they say, yes, they could be lying. Okay, then that still remains the question of what the inverted tower is. Is it the big tower at the at the top here? Hmm. Right, now we just need to get off this thing again. Hmm. Okay, that yeah, that 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 way it completely makes sense as to why. Some of them are still written normally. Yeah, radar functions normally. We found that out already because we found two of the three. It's just this last one that's being a bitch. So 
So my guess... I can't move the camera up or down, but I'm guessing this last one is going to be at the top of the level. Now the game won't let me escape from this one's gravity. Hmm. Okay, how do I even get off this thing now again to get upwards? <laughs> I'm guessing the, the previous attempts were basically by luck. Oh, so I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be able to walk. Yeah, there we go. No time for monkey. Let's see, where did I get launched off of these before? Hmm. Good question! Okay, escape from it there. But that's not enough height to get to that one. Let's see, you can fall off the sides of this one, though, yeah. Uh, there is some point here where I broke free to glide over to the other one. But I can't freaking find it anymore. I'm not seeing any rockets or such to get over to it. Now that just sends us back to this, which is of no use. Actually, no. Okay, I thought if I'd hover there, maybe we could break free, but no. And where the heck is the, the way to get off of this one to the next? There we go. Okay. Let's not fall off. Now, let's see. I'm very rusty, but I think it's one of the regular springs. Yeah, it's proven to be. Yep. But yeah, the, the level design in this one is just horrendous so far. Or maybe not horrendous, but it's way too freaking big for everything else, especially with the lying hints and such. Yeah. Let's just try and go as far it off as we can at the moment. Not here. I, I think it's going to be at one of the highest points here. And that did no good. Hmm. Wait, that platform maybe? Oh, there we go. Knew it. There we go. What the? Stone was standing on the platform. It was not Big hmm. Cat. I'm ashamed to call myself a hunter. Okay, I didn't notice whatever that was then. <sighs> Long time. No see, treasure hunter. Did you find my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald? Talking to you is a waste of time. Hand over those master emeralds. Give them to me. <laughs> Knuckles. Uh, very dry delivery from him again. <laughs> Almost on the level of oh no. Uh, wait. Oh, the pit suddenly opened. Uh, uh, you need a hand, Knuckles? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, nothing on the level of oh no, but still. Okay, but it looks like the timer is about to run out, though, so we'll have to do this. And we'll attempt this, Long and then call it. Treasure hunter. 
Did you buy my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald? Talking to you is a waste of time. <laughs> Hand over those master emeralds. Give them to me. <laughs> it, it's almost as dry as something with the Sailor Moon dub. That's just mean to all hell and back as well. I thought I could do it. Oh, the damn it. Okay, grab the freaking rings first. Give them to me. Use your rings wisely. Pick up one wing at a time, or else. There. Okay. Oh, now it opened up. I was about to comment on that. Okay, now where is he? Knowing Omachao, yes, that is a threat. Now, where is Knucklehead? I'm guessing he's got himself stuck some... There he is. <laughs> really? That's the timer, so I'll quiet that thing down. Okay, now where is he again? Oh, I can see sleepy now. Okay, we might have to call it in the middle of the fight then if this takes too long. Oop. There. Actually, as long as we, as long as this thing keeps shut, we should have a decent chance. It, yeah, I say as yes, Knuckles gets, <laughs> Knuckles just utterly utter cups, you know, uppercuts Rouge across the face. There. I, I, I'm not trying to do that spin attack. Get down here, you. Yep. At least that gets in the way of us both. Yeah. Come on! Okay, that would have been awkward if it stayed open and dumped both of us into the lava. Yeah! When he stops, that's the time to attack. There. Yep. Okay, now completely vulnerable. Yep. Give me those. Okay, now where is he? Yep, there you are. Yep. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's near impossible to get a hit during this. Because they'll counter-attack almost the moment that you attack. And thus blocking the... Uh, uh, thus blocking the attack. It... Yeah, this fight... In Glasser's, yeah, this fight can be a jerk. Yeah, I... I... I, I get the feeling we won't be able to finish this quick enough. Yeah, I feel like this is one of those we need to sleep before mm. continuing. <laughs> Launch her corpse into the air. Uh, yeah, let's call it here. <laughs> okay, and hopefully... Any of the upcoming levels aren't broken by the mods, because another <laughs> level got broken by the mods earlier, Lazarus. <laughs> Oddly enough, the one with Rouge's car, for, uh, for some reason. Okay. But yeah, with that, let's head on over here. I, I really should work on changing this one out as well. Because I'm trying to get rid... I'm trying to use less of the AI artwork. Uh... But yeah, for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me bring this forward and yeah, change the screen share. I think I'm gonna uh, log here and prepare for. I'm so tired. 
Okay, and let's have ourselves a look. We have Dr. Misunderstood with Final Fantasy VII Remake, Swalbe with Jagged Alliance 2, Dugget Douglas McDog with Harry Potter, and which of these is it? Come on, show me the title. Uh, actually, I'll, let me check. Yeah, browser is muted, so let me take a peek. Is this one of the early Harry Potter games? Yep, yeah, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I, I don't know why, one? but at some point they stopped making a game, yeah, a game per each of the books. But at least the first three or so were pretty good, in my opinion. And let's see, Lystris, after run again anyway, family's going to bed and I should probably go lie down shortly as well. <laughs> okay, have a good night, <laughs> Lazarus. And hope you had a good Christmas era, or good Christmas slash happy holidays. Yeah, <clears throat> hope you had fun. But yeah, for now, I actually mean, I'm gonna need to log here now. So I will say this, good night everyone, sleep well, thank you all for joining. And yeah, watch thank out you for as the always. Content. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Thank you as always. You're most welcome. And to you and everyone else, watch out for the undead seagulls. Definitely. <laughs> Sleep well, all. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I think we. I think we go uh, raid uh, Douglas Douglas uh, Doug, Douglas Doggett McDog, or whatever the order is. Like, I know that J.K. Rowling has, well, revealed herself to be an absolute bitch in the last years, but the games that were made uh, based on the IP, they are still pretty good, and I'm pretty sure they are not getting these games <laughs> without emulation, so not a cent of this went to her, probably. Anyways, let me copy the name, then go to our place, slash raid and paste. And let me check for any lurkers. So, ta -ta -ta. Uh, none at the moment. Oh well. <clears throat> well then, uh, <laughs> ending a bit late. And I'll definitely have to cut out the BRB parts and definitely fix the buttons for that as well. But, anyways, for now, uh, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Uh, tomorrow, maybe Valheim, maybe not. We'll have to see. That will definitely be continuing and maybe finishing this game, hopefully finishing this game on Thursday. So, yeah. Thank you all again, thank you all again for watching and yeah. <laughs> Let's get the raid started. And, oh, they're on follower, subscriber only chat. Let me cancel that then. And then we just go, we go visit Black Shadow then, since they're playing Max Payne. So, copy that name channel and yeah but also before we <laughs> thank you for being here Lazarus and yeah let's start a new raid so also with something going on with rage or something recently um yeah doctor misunderstood then if they are also on follower only yeah let's raid and paste there okay Thank you everyone else for watching now or later, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. <laughs> I look <laughs> to where the cure should be. <laughs> it's a freaking habit.